We do these kind of like rapid fire questions. We do them with all the guests we have. So I'm just going to fire these off. And just first thing that comes to mind, don't, don't overthink them. Um, okay. First one probably is not, yeah, first one's probably not the best catered to you, but it's when you, when you are on a course and you are playing and putting, do you putt with a line on the ball or do you just kind of focus on a spot and just try to roll a ball over that? You know, I used to I used to be a line guy, and then this season I stopped. Uh, I don't know. I was reading some some stuff about uh, that. I guess it, it wasn't as research backed as it used to be, but uh, but no, I, I I try to be more of a field guy. I've noticed if I if I just kind of sort of read the line and kind of feel the line versus trying to be robotic with it, I seem to putt better. So uh, no more line for me, unfortunately. <laughs> cool. What's a TV or a movie character that you most relate to? TV character or a movie character I relate to? Oh, man, that's a great question. Um, honestly, I don't watch a lot of TV. I, I am a bit of a movie guy. Um, who do I relate to? Let's circle back to that one. I want to give that one some thought. I don't want to, right, I don't want to right. skip out and not get an answer, but I'm totally <laughs> blanking right now. Do you use a blade or a mallet putter? I'm a mallet guy. Um, I've always loved blade putters. I'm a big putter guy. I I, I definitely am going to be one of those guys that has like 20 different putters in his basement. I just rotate them in and out. Um, I always yeah. felt like putting is very mental. I've always said this growing up. And if you ever run into a rut with putting, um, just change something up. So either like change the, the putting grip that you're using, whether you're using like a standard grip or a claw grip or left hand low, just change that up or actually change the actual putter grip. Just go into the shop and buy a new putter grip change the width of your stance. Um, I've always been a proponent of that. Obviously there's, there's certain fundamentals to putting, but I've always been a proponent of switching up or just go and buy a new putter. And I feel like that's sometimes where I lean, but, um, so I've always loved the idea of a blade putter and I definitely would love to have like a classic Scotty one day, but, um, but I definitely need the forgiveness. I realized with a few blade putters that I've tried and, and have used, um, and have subsequently gotten rid of, I don't hit the center of the face, uh, near enough to, uh, to use a blade putter. So I love the idea of it, but I'm definitely a mallet guy for sure. Cool. What's your go-to golf ball? Is it something different than the the Bridgestone like we talked about, or is that just like what you would use out for a regular round of golf? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it for golf. Not that you can't use it for golf, but I, I um, mm -hmm. you know, being a little bit of a, a I don't want to say better player, but more of like a golfer. I definitely try and use more of a premium golf ball um, so I can get like the green side spin, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. My go-to ball is a Strixon Z-Star XV. Um, that's the ball that uh, when I did some testing the last few years, always I always seem to play best with that golf ball. Um, although mm -hmm. this past weekend, I went out and played a few holes uh, with a new Callaway uh, Tour Chrome um, and really liked it, actually. Was a, was a huge fan. I actually played half decent, so I don't know if it was the ball or if it was just me, but <laughs> maybe we'll say it's the ball. But um, yeah, I might have to make the, make the switch to the new, uh, the new uh, Callaway ball for sure. Cool. So if you weren't golfing or doing long drive, what is it that you'd want to be just doing on a, a regular day off? Yeah. Um, uh, golf is always what I want to be doing on a day off, but if, uh, <laughs> if I can, if it's raining outside, um, to be honest, I'm probably, I'm probably going to the gym and probably trying to recover because I'm probably sore and, uh, and that sort of thing. But, uh, also, a little bit of a music guy. I played guitar for 20 years or something now, so I don't play oh, too much gotcha. anymore, but always love to just grab it and dabble it. And, um, I've always been a big fan of, of music and live music and, and stuff like that. So um, cool. that's probably what I'm doing if I'm not out on the golf course. Yeah, so we're, we're actually both big music guys. I'm, I'm the manager at a recording studio here in Syracuse. I've been doing that for oh, cool. almost 10 years now. And Gary gigs a lot. Gary was actually on The Voice of... Uh, uh, I think like 2013, I don't remember the year, a little ways back, but he was on The Voice and still gigs. So we're both mainly music guys more so than golf guys. <laughs> gotcha. But, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. So let's, we'll circle back to the TV or movie character. What's the, who do you most relate to? <laughs> yeah. Who do I relate to? Um, that's a great question. I don't know why I'm stalling on this. Um, <laughs> trying to think. Is anyone that I remind you of? I don't know if you're maybe your bigger TV or movie guy. Um, that maybe is there maybe somebody that I that I maybe give you the vibes of just initially <laughs> no. from this conversation. <laughs> not so much. No, <laughs> I, I'm not a big movie guy. More so TV, but I'm like the same. The Office, Sunny. You know, like the same thing over and over is what I watch. <laughs> 
Gotcha. Gotcha. I'll say I, you know what, I, I, I haven't watched the office as religiously as a lot of people, but, um, John Krasinski's character in that from the few episodes that I have watched, um, I think his, his very sarcastic kind of humor, um, and the way he sort of pokes and prods, uh, Dwight Schrute, I think throughout the episodes and stuff and just yeah, does yeah. that to get a reaction. I feel like I naturally have a tendency to do that with folks. I know how to sort of push buttons. It's probably growing up playing hockey. I learned very quickly uh, what words to say when you're in sort of in front of the net <laughs> yeah, talking, yeah. Uh, chirping with some people and stuff. So um, I've always, I've always enjoyed that. And uh, the little bit of basketball that I've played, I've enjoyed that aspect of basketball too, where you uh, can say certain things and kind of get in your opponent's head and stuff. So Going full circle, sure. I think uh, John presents his character. I don't know why I'm blanking on his name. Jim, Jim, Jim. Jim. Hey, that's his name. Jim, um, yeah. I would say I kind of relate to uh, to to his sort of style and uh, his communication and his uh, his sense of humor for sure. Cool. So yeah, I mean that's all I got. Just give uh, everyone real quick where they can find you on social media, where they can find more about World Long Drive Tour and anything like that. Yeah, for sure. Um, so uh, for me, it's TJ Baker underscore LD. And that's, uh, that's sort of all my socials. I've got Instagram and TikTok is kind of what I've been trying to grow. I think that's definitely, you know, a plan for 2025 is to definitely invest a little bit more into the social media presence um, and hopefully mm -hmm. uh, try and put out some content stuff. Not that I'm going to be like a full time content creator by any means, but I, I've enjoyed, you know, working or, you know, doing little videos and, uh, and, and instruction and that kind of stuff. So definitely going to dabble in that space. So yeah, TJ Baker underscore LD on Instagram and TikTok. And then as it relates to World Long Drive, um, there's a website, World Long Drive, uh, and uh, that's where they post all the schedule, the results. And um, during the season, they've got live scoring and stuff. Hopefully, the the plan is to bring back a live stream, I think, for next season because um, this oh, season it kind of cool. went away, but hopefully next year. Um, but yeah, check out the, their YouTube channel. There's a lot of great stuff and a lot of uh, past live streams that they had done from like the World Championships a few years ago. Um, not gonna lie, I always go back and watch it sometimes just to see uh see how far i've come and see you know some of the mistakes yeah. and, and some of the successes and stuff that i've made in the past and some of the events it's uh but it's cool to see see the journey and the progress i've made and and that sort of thing so um yeah the, the youtube channels were awesome um but uh but yeah that's that's where i'm located awesome well thanks a bunch tj for taking the time and best of luck for you in uh 2025 then Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for having me on TJ. I appreciate it. Um, we'll be following, following you guys along for sure. And, uh, and I appreciate it. Happy to happy to do this again for sure. Thanks for watching today's episode to see more of our content. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at basic bogeys on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.